Welcome to chapter 6 in series 3 and this is the chapter that you've been waiting for. It's all about the guns and the gun system. So it's quite involved, there's quite a few scripts in this gun system. Starting of course with the gun master script which has a whole heap of events which you can see listed on the long, along the left side. And uh, well let's go through it pretty briefly. So there's a script called gun standard input and that's where if the player Left, left clicks, then it attempts an attack, and you can see the events that uh, get called when that happens. There's also another one for the reloading, you know, requesting a reload, or checking for toggling of the burst fire mode. Uh, now, if the player did left click, then you can see that the attempt attack gets called, and then on the gun shoot script, then another method uh, it will get called there. It's called open fire, and that results in actually firing off a ray cast to detect for the enemy. Anything that's anything that's get touched by the ray cast, it causes the event shot default uh, event to fire off, which you can see other stuff happens because of it, like on the gun hit effects. Uh, there'll be a particle system that's instantiated at the hit location, and also the gun apply force. Anything with a rigid body gets knocked back. Uh, and then if an enemy was hit, then you can see the um, event shot enemy, uh, it gets called, and if there was an enemy that was struck, then the gun hit effects will cause a another type of particle system to get instantiated at the enemy's hit position, and you can see the gun apply damage will actually apply damage to the enemy. Uh, now, let's have a look at some of the other things, uh, like the gun ammo script, so that's a really major script on its own, and it's very important, it deducts the ammo when you're shooting, but you know, you don't actually need it there to be able to shoot and hurt the enemy at all. It's just another script that you add on to another piece of behavior that gets added on and the system just gets richer with it. And the gun ammo script isn't alone, so well, I was talking about that. You know, it deducts the ammo when you're shooting. It checks, you know, the ammo status as well. Can the gun continue to fire? So if it can't continue to fire when you press left click, nothing happens. Uh, so that's important as well. When you try reloading, you know, when, do you actually have any ammunition? You know, if you don't have any ammunition in your player master, uh, you know, not the player master, but the player ammo box, then there's no point trying to reload. And if you throw the gun away while you're in the process of reloading, then reset that reloading, otherwise you won't be able to use the weapon. And other stuff like updating the UI ammo. Uh, for the gun itself, it of course needs to get an update every time you open fire, every time you go and pick up ammunition. Uh, so that gun ammo script, that's probably uh, one of the biggest scripts in the whole series and one of the most important ones for that side of the behavior. But as I was saying, the gun will work absolutely fine without it. It's just that when you have it, now you have a richer system and you can reload your gun and stuff. Now there are some uh, interesting things I'd like to point out on the left side, the bottom left side, you can see the gun reload animation. Now this is an actual animation clip that we'll make that actually calls to uh, methods. So it is actually responsible for calling. It has its tone to events. So I'll show that. It's very interesting that when you have an animation actually calling an event, it's very cool. And what that happens is then when you call it, other uh, gun sounds will actually play, so there'll be a play, a reloading sound. And when you've finished reloading, so at the end of the animation, just near the end of it, you'll have another method called on reload complete in the gun ammo, and that means the gun is ready for usage again, and it'll cause the ammo uh, to get assigned correctly to that weapon. Uh, then there's other stuff like the gun reset. So you know, if you, as I was saying, if you throw the gun while you're reloading, then the gun gets reset. And then there's other stuff like gun animator. So there's an animator on this gun will make the animations, and it's responsible for playing the shoot animation. And then you got other stuff like the gun sounds, burst fire indicator, uh, apply force, the ammo, and the dynamic crosshair as well. So you know when you're running about, your player your player speed is getting captured, it's getting calculated at regular intervals, and that's used to drive it already. You've already written it. Uh, well, you'll already have written it that in one of the uh, other scripts, I think it's the gun shoot script, where it will be looking for that information. If it's not there, it's not a problem. But if it is there, if the speed is there, then the shooting position will be a, a bit offset from the center. And so it gives the effect of, you know, that when you're running around, your shooting accuracy drops down. 
uh, which is also neat and of course the crosshair animates now like the first 10 videos will have almost no scripting whatsoever uh, it will be just us making uh, all the assets that we need well first of all downloading all the models that we need and sounds and then from there we'll be making our own assets uh, so you know like the animations the controllers and the uh, particle effects and then after those 10 videos about then we'll be uh, scripting each of these ones that you see on your screen and probably in the in probably one of the first probably in the first video or whenever I set up the uh, gun as an item uh, there should be some more script execution orders, so some of my code is not absolutely solid, so I hadn't seen that during testing. You see things crop up after a while. It doesn't always appear. Some things like you, they won't have a script execution problem because they just happen to occur before the other stuff occurs, but I did see uh, while testing some more that there were a few more, nothing really serious, all easy to fix. So hopefully we get to see those problems when we get to setting up the weapon. If we don't, then I will just alter uh, a few scripts, slightly anyway, just so that we hopefully won't see anything at all. Alright, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.